So before we actually sculpt, first I, I want to set up a pretty simple scene. I wanted to make something like a tentacle. So I just made a curve, disabled back and front, so I can use the bevel depth option. And now I'm scaling the thickness of this curve with Alt S. Add some resolution to it. Then enable 3D so I can change the points on 3D. On the tip I did the same, Alt S and then uh, 0 so it scales down to the minimum. Yeah, well, it's supposed to be a pretty simple model. I wanted to, to make a tentacle because we could try Blender's built-in brushes or textures or images as well. But I am spending more time than needed in this stupid model. Okay, enough. Before we actually convert this object, I wanted to change the resolution of it. That's the cool thing about the Corvus, you can just play with the resolution until you get something you like. And then we convert it from object and convert object type or Alt C. So we just change from uh, object to sculpt mode. And that's it, you just left click and drag and now you're sculpting. You see that it depends on the resolution of your mesh. But if you uh, if the resolution of your mesh is too high, it can get really, really slow. You can see Blender draws two sides of the mesh and all the polygons are there. There's one thing we can do to solve that from the sculpt menu the option partial redraw will only draw one side of the faces and only uh, will only update whatever we are paying we are sculpting so that's really nice and really quick as well so we can have some more polygons afterwards I'm now just adding some color to not to have that ugly white and now I'm going to tweak the default lighting for OpenGL in the user preference settings and system of OpenGL there we have three little balls there and three light buttons toggle buttons those are the lights we have in OpenGL there does, this doesn't have anything to do with the rendering actually it's just for pre resolution I'm just tweaking everything for for having a, a better view of what I'm sculpting actually so it's enough oh and uh, another option it's also good to tweak is in edit methods you can you can uh, twitch the amount of steps for the undo the control Z option by default is 64, so Blender will save 64 steps of our mesh. So it's better to, to tweak, uh, lower that value a little bit. I put it back in 16, which is a good value. So in edit buttons, we have all the options we need for sculpting, but we don't need all the panels there, so I just put them, some of them uh, collapsed to the right. Also the sculpt panel we also have it on the on the 3d view just by pressing N so I'm going to hide that one as well so we have three panels now multi res brush and texture the first one we're going to use is the multi res we have this amount of resolution but we need a little bit more if we want to sculpt really more detail on in, into our mesh First we need to add multi-res and then add a level. Multi-res stands for multi-resolution which lets us uh, add as many as, as much resolution as we want and we can switch back and forth 
between those levels of uh, resolution. The first option is uh, level 2, level 1, level 2, if you change your level, level 3 can go really detailed. The second one is edges, it's just the amount of uh, edges that we are, uh, they're going to be drawn on the on the 3D view, it's just for pre-visualization. The next one is pin, it's, uh, it's when uh, our modifiers, is in which level our modifiers are going to be applied for uh, when affecting our mesh actually. And the last one is called render, it's just the level of resolution our mesh is going to have when uh, rendering. So now that we have all the settings set, let's sculpt 